and welcome back to TGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very familiar piece of stone here in London. This is a very familiar wall. Many of you be very uh, aware of where I am. However, I'm not here to talk about uh, masonry. Today, I'm here to talk about masonry. Do you like that? Yeah. We've got Archie here. He's going to get involved very shortly. We are here to talk about a very exciting little car. Now, this car caused an absolute stir when it was shown uh, some years ago now, actually. The prototype was shown at a motor show. I can't remember which one it was. Where was the Honda E shown? No idea. No idea. We don't know. However, I think it might have been Geneva. Yes, maybe. And everyone said, absolutely sick, really, really cool little car, but it's going to look nothing like the prototype on the stand. However, it is now out, and it looks exactly the same. It's a really, really cool piece of kit. I was really excited to get hold of this, and I've got one of the first in the UK, and I'm pleased to be doing a little review of this. I've got kind of a little bit of experience with EVs. I had a BMW i3s for exactly one year that's just gone back. So I kind of uh, look quite well versed in EVs now, and uh, Archie here. Hello. You're getting a take aren't you? Yes, I've ordered the take out. It's actually coming. People are going to think I've cancelled it, but I haven't. No, no, yeah, 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 I'm not judging. So uh, your, t yes. your take out is coming, so you're yeah. into the whole EV thing. Yeah. I love an EV. I've got uh, actually a half electric Range Rover currently, uh, for good or for bad. I, d I do have one of those. It's got about four miles of range. However, this is fully EV. So we're in the congestion charge zone today. They've extended it seven days a week, uh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thank you so much, Sadiq Khan. Nice one, mate. Perfect, bob on, uh, brilliant. No, you don't have to pay. No, I know, but I was going to get onto that. I was just saying, ah. bob on, mate. Well done for extending Hi. it. Um, telling oh, everyone. Having, you're having a go. Yeah, telling everyone to try and kind of avoid ah. public transport and not go near each other, but then also um, mugging them off for congestion shots. Anyway, and they put the price up as well, actually. Yeah, 15, 15, 15, 15 quid if you pay on the day, and then maybe more. However, we don't need to worry about that because this is fully electric. Without further abuse to London Mayor, let's get on with the video. Here she is then, the Honda E. As I said, when it was revealed at the motor show, everyone said, really cool concept car Honda, uh, but it's not actually gonna look anything like that. It is pretty much exactly the same as what they showed everyone. Even, I mean, this is just the coolest feature, ever, even the fact it doesn't have wing mirrors. I wasn't aware that this was legal or you know complied with regulations, but Honda somehow have managed to make a car without wing mirrors. They've got this really kind of like stubby little effect on there, which actually transponds inside via a camera onto these two little screens. We'll get into all the tech inside as well because it's really, really nifty little bit of kit. But this then is the key, very standard key, but actually on the button, the little flap on the front opens. This is of course where you charge the little sod and it's got the normal plug there and there's also a different type of plug down there as well, uh, different types of charging. I don't really know enough about it. A little Honda badge in there as well. That just. There we go, right on the front. Actually really convenient having it on the front there actually. A lot of charging bays actually are a complete pain in the backside and that actually makes it really convenient having it on the front and not around the side somewhere or somewhere awful. Very clever idea from Honda there. But it's got this kind of unique retro look to it. The wheels are retro and this whole kind of side is basically just a little bubble. It's actually a four door so don't be uh, deceived. You can actually get in the back here as well. Lovely stuff. And if you're wondering how the door handles work, they actually pop open when you press the button, so they go back in like that. Much like uh, the Lamborghini Huracan, actually. Coming around the back of the car then, you've got this extensive use of kind of a gloss black that you do, which mirrors the front. And yeah, it's just a very, very simple design. There's not much to have a go at it really on. Do you like it? I do like it. I think it's a very nice car. Do you, do you actually like it though? Well, well, well different to the destination. Do you prefer it to a Taycan? No, absolutely not. But There's a price difference, compare. Archie. That's 30 grand. Yep. Spec up. Perfect. Well, Archie's now delivering some stats. So that is now no, 30 grand. Well, we can review this now. Finished. Finished. Uh, 30 grand. Yep. And the take on. How much was your take on spec? Uh, that's ruining my video. That's not fair. Well, I haven't ruined anything because I won't give anything away. Ah. If anything, I'm building uh, anticipation. Range, I've gone for the 4S. Yes. And they range, <laughs> and they range from mm. 88 base spec or okay. 115. Yeah. And my spec. Carbon wheels, Archie? I'd have one of these to be fair. Well, right then. Right, the no, but that's alright. Okay. I'm at, do you know what? I, I have been clickbaiting buying cars for my girlfriend and all the rest of it. She doesn't even have a driving license. But genuinely, <laughs> this is going to be a contender. When, why are you laughing? No, it's funny. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm job, milking it. This does the job as good as it I think I'm going to get her a black one of these. I'm talking to Honda at the moment about sorting something out with them. Not yet, but she will get one, Archie. Oh. Listen. Right, inside the car then, 
This is specced with this kind of wood finish, which I suspect is not wood. It's probably some sort of sustainable material. I should have looked into what that was before delivering the video. However, I'm led to believe everything, shut up. Everything in here is made of a vegan material, much like my i3s. All of this will be made out of kind of uh, sustainable, reusable, uh, non-cow killing materials, which is all very good, uh, and you know, possibly saving some sort of aquatic marine life as well. I know my i3s was made out of uh, uh, bottles that were scrounged out of the bottom of the sea. Um, and in here as well, we've got lots of room in the back. We'll get in there. Archie, would you like to get in the back and demonstrate how much room there is? Yeah, we try. I'll get this one. Yeah, yes, please do. Social distancing, please, Archie. Uh, we've got brown seat belts as well for some reason it matches the wood it actually works to be fair the thing is i think about electric cars you can actually be quite quirky with them and get away with it how do i look yeah i mean you, you, you're smashing it over there oh mate it's quite qu quite a nice watch i just caught the caught a glimpse of mate, there you know. quite nice have you had a good year <laughs> leave me alone all right um so hang on wait wait I'm not why am i hanging on yet. i need to put my belt on and then you can go right well, yeah. i'm not going anywhere we're doing the only a review problem is uh, my, my feedback is that it's comfortable, but there's no, not much leg room. Well, you've got that seat and right I'm back only there, boy. I'm 5 foot 9 and you're 5 foot 6, so that's the problem. That's good. Good chat. Yeah. Yeah? But no, generally, if you... Good, for, good little run around. Good little run around, yes. Well, I think that's what this is designed to be. I don't think it's going to be a cross-continent tourer, yeah. because we'll get on to range in a second. However, you do have that seat right back, so there is... And, you know, a bit of headroom there, boy. Yeah, a bit of headroom. Give it a bit of a slouch, and you'll get, you'll get more you, there. If you've got... Want to put your baby seat in the back here? Perfect. Um, Might need one of those soon, Archie. Both of us. <laughs> okay. Right then. I want to show you some of the tech because it's really cool. We're going to go for a drive in a minute as well. So this is actually the wing mirror. So it's a very weird experience. You drive along and you don't have... I mean, what's happening out there? You don't have... Right, that's my door. There we go. You don't have anything on the outside of the car. Your kind of reflex reaction is to kind of look out there and have a look for something. But if you do that, you just get that nubbin. What are you doing? Yes, or you get that. The clarity on the camera, though, is actually cash. My camera here is picking up his face through that, through that camera there. <laughs> Very mature, mature car review. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it actually works really well. And I suspect the blind spot element of things has actually been reduced having that as well. Oh, it's cut out. I don't know why. Right, let's fire up then. We get this kind of really soothing little noise. Let's see if it works. Foot on the brake. Can you hear that? Lovely. Right, okay, shut up. So we've got this huge screen that goes the whole way along the front here. And this does various things. You've got, you know, you've got your Android Auto, um, your Apple CarPlay, whatever it is you're into. And you've also, just a, a bugbear of mine, every car I've been in, as long as I've lived, has never had a virtual aquarium in it. And finally, my prayers have been answered. This has a virtual aquarium in it. Thank God for that, finally. Finally, a manufacturer that's seen sense and has put a virtual aquarium inside a car. Jokes aside, though, that is actually quite cool. It's completely pointless, totally irrelevant. I mean, I, can you can you mess them about? Give them some jip? No, I don't think you can. Can you feed them? I don't know what the deal is. Archie will probably know he likes, he likes games. Um, but you've got all your stats on here as well. So you will see... Uh, the battery percentage down there, the charge and all the rest of it, and then when it's charging, it gives you all that stuff. Uh, we've got 77 miles of range, and that leads me on to talking about range. This car supposedly has a 125 mile range. Now, I know for a fact that my i3s was about 200 miles. So that is not a huge range. That is that isn't a big range on the scheme of things. You know, Teslas, Taycans, they've all got much, much bigger ranges. 125 miles isn't a lot. And in the real world, that would probably be about 100 to 115 if you're kind of uh, ham footing it around town. However, from personal experience, 125 miles is actually more than enough. If you've got an EV and you're doing regular journeys, you're commuting in it and all the rest of it, you will either have a charging spot at your office or you'll have a charging spot at home or you'll have one that you use regularly. The range thing really didn't ever bother me in the i3s. I was doing the same journeys in it pretty much all the time and if I needed a car for longer journeys or I didn't know where I was going and all the rest of it, I kind of just didn't take it with me to be honest with you. So the range thing isn't a huge concern, albeit the range probably could be slightly better. I wouldn't be fully uh, critical if I didn't criticize the range just slightly. So that is one thing. As I say, I'm looking for another place in the Cotswolds and I don't know whether I'd even take that out there because it's about, I don't know, 60 miles, 70 miles, something 
something like that and you might get a little bit of anxiety towards the end and if you get stuck in traffic or something like that you might end up in quite a sticky situation boring things then well a boring stat in this car 0 to 60 is about nine and a half seconds and it puts out about 125 135 horsepower it's rear wheel drive uh, but don't expect it to get any slides as i say there isn't a huge amount of power there but that's not what this car is about this car is about nipping around town in something really really cool very usable very environmentally friendly and i just think it's an amazing piece of design how they've managed to kind of include all this like really nice tech in here the aircon works very well archie should we go for a spin yeah all right what are you doing over there it looks like he's urinating there's the face of someone that's been up to something i'm fine you're fine just uh i'm racing next this weekend i don't know when this video is going out so don't time stamp it uh, 15th of August I'm racing. Okay. Are your fans supporting my racing journey? Yeah, they will be. They will be. My, my audience, uh, some of them hate you, but most of them quite like you. Yeah. Do you want to get in the car, mate? Because... I'll get in. Where are we going? We'll just go around the block, usual. Yeah. We'll get in then. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Brown seatbelts on, please. Oh, yours is already on. Yeah. Well done. Brown seatbelts matches the rubber on the protect, can't you? Ready to go? Ready to go. We're on. I mean, the aircon's louder than the engine, which is absolute hell. Uh, drive. Christ, it's quite dramatic. Where are you going? Well, that was the most least dramatic thing ever. Quite dramatic for an EV, Archie. I've got quite a lot of experience on EVs. Mm -hmm. Very, very quiet, very nice, very nice to drive, very nice experience. Now, the only comparison I can draw to this, you've been in a Taycan. Yeah. It's a considerable time in the take I mean, you've done, what, about 15 test drives in it? 45-part series about take hands already on your channel. I mean, like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, mean, we'll, but we'll I like it. I really, really liked it. Let's actually be serious. I want to actually mm. say something. Yes. Um, I wanted to go in and not enjoy the take -in. But I actually really liked it. You were, are you an EV hater? Are you someone that doesn't doesn't want EVs to come in? You want brrrr, and hey, no, 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 no. kill the dinosaurs? No, I like it. Yeah. You know, I drove the, the, the Rimac one years, years and years ago. Uh, and I've always actually been a bit of a fan because the technology is awesome. So I think if we weren't in London, it wouldn't be as more desirable. I don't think it's a thing outside of London, really, yeah. I think it, mm. it, it makes a lot of sense around here. And I think EVs make sense as part of, like, if you if you don't care about cars and you just actually need to just sit down and be yeah. transported somewhere, get an EV. Uh, and also if you have a couple of cars, maybe you have like a, I think what will happen is cars will go into two different directions. I think there'll be the EV market, uh, that will just be for people who just need a tool, they just need to sit in it, they need to go and buy twiglets in the supermarket. Oh, what's my obsession with twiglets? Mm. Um, and there will be a market for people that want, you know, petrol and all the rest of it. And I yeah. think manufacturers will get, have a clear distinction. But I think some brands like Porsche will combine the two with things like the Taycan. And I think the Taycan has been a really interesting kind of uh, experiment for Porsche, showing people that uh, electric cars aren't necessarily boring. No, they're not. And they can be cool as well. And this is cool. And I actually think the i3s. I think the i3s is very cool as well. Mm -hmm. I think there, there's a few very cool EVs out there. There aren't EVs out there that aren't cool, um, and for not wanting to burn and that's bridges. And that's GT3 RS, and that is cool. Yeah, Gen 1 GT3 RS, aren't you? Yeah, Ceramics. I owned one. I used to own one. Mm. Sold it. I had one as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go, ticked off the list. Cool. Um, but yeah, generally, I really like this. I like the fact that it is electric. I like what where things are going electric-wise. And that is coming from someone that's actually uh, legitimately oh, racing cars. Quite a petrol head. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's 458. 458 Spider. Very good goods they are. So, my comparisons then versus the i3s. If you're thinking, I want a little town car, shall I get an i3s, shall I get a, the Honda e? Uh, ride quality, this is better. Performance, i3s is better. Range, i3s is better. Price, this is better. Looks, this is better. Build quality, both are brilliant. Anything else? No, to comfort. I'm Residuals, afraid. don't know about these, but i3s is actually very good, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, Residuals on electric cars, are, I think, are, well, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I think the i3s is good though. I think the residuals on them are very good. And you can obviously get the uh, the extender with the i3s as well. So you, you don't have to have it fully electric. You can get a little petrol uh, extender on it as well. You can't, as far as I'm aware, do that on this. This only comes in one trim level, as far as I know. I don't think there's an S version or anything. I think that's just it. In time, I'm sure there will be. Um, 
but in terms of like road noise and I found the i3s very kind of crashy I don't know whether it's because I had the s and it was like low profile tires but the ride qualities in this is better very definitely yeah I do remember that car to be honest and the right quality so yeah I agree with that I think they nudge about 40 grand and this is around 30 grand so this is better value obviously you've got the premium prestige of having BMW as a brand uh, versus a Honda but I think this is a car that it's cool it's fun it's quirky it's not trying too hard um, and I think it's good goods it is good. I really approve of it I'm not being paid to say it's good believe you me if I hated it I would I would say it's crap but also, yeah. the this has a lot of benefits to people's business. I think that's something which we need to. Yeah, you about. looked into that recently. We're in a slightly different uh, bracket, as you know, YouTuber cars aren't necessarily company cars. Yeah, it's a it's a slightly slightly different distinction there. Um, although there's no fixed rules. No, but in terms of with businesses and electric cars, there's a yeah, it's a lot more company cars, tax, etc. Is uh, this is actually attractive? This is actually, you know, it, it picks up. There's a lot of kind of grunt and kind of talk there. It's nowhere near as fast as the i3s in sport mode. I mean, that was hell in sport mode to be fair. Um, but it's by no means a slouch. I don't think though this is the sort of thing you'd buy. You'd get rid of your hot hatch and just buy this and kind of. Uh, take it to caffeine machine on the weekends. The mirrors, whatever. Thing, the mirrors. Oh, drive mode. Hold on. Sport chaos. There is a different drive mode. You've got sport and normal. We're in sport now. It's going to be just as slow, mate. It's it's not. It doesn't feel slow, slow. No, no, no. Uh, the range has gone down. The range. Is, oh yeah, that's actually true. Ooh. But for going around town, oh. it is it is just that that it's a city car. You oh. can't, I think that uh, there is no way. The saying that someone outside of London, unless you, 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 it's permanently on charge, for London it is perfect. It is perfect. This is as near to a perfect London car as I think there's ever going to be. There, I said it. It's mm. brilliant. It is brilliant. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice car. Yes. Uh, and, and coupled with the fact that you are not really destroying the, the environment. I mean, people are going to have a go about batteries and say, you know, they can't be stored safely or whatever, or disposed of. What, what do they do with batteries? Just bury them in the floor, don't they? I, I, you're talking to someone who literally has no idea about EVs. Running costs, actually, versus the i3s. I think that's its kind of natural competitor. Um, I would say the running costs on this is probably better, being Honda. I don't yeah, think they rip maybe. people off. Um, BMW is probably slightly more expensive. Yeah. Both very cool backdoor designs. This is, feels a lot more roomy than the i3s. I mean, is that scooter close behind us? I, I am trying to get used to the mirrors because I'm I'm wondering whether or not I'm about to wipe some. Yeah. Out. Where is he? He looks like he's literally loaded in the boot, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a. Tricky it does take some getting used to. Test drive one of these and see where you can get your head around the whole mirror thing. But I quite like it to be fair. I'm getting used to it already. Well, one thing though, if you drive like, um, how best to explain it? If you drive like this. You do block the view there, so you do drive 10 to 2 and you're absolutely fine, aren't you? Quarter to 2, quarter past. I think that's what you're trying to get at. 10 to 2 is what I got taught. Okay, well. Wow. Quarter to 2, quarter past. 10 to 2, like, you, no, that's what you get taught in your driving test and then racing like that. Quarter yeah? to 2, quarter past, yeah. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, but I race. Yes, I don't. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we'll take it on a track day, see how we get on. We might have to charge it every On this? Yeah, imagine. We'll right. be on his roof for five lap. minutes. I think that's it then. Any other business? No, nope. just thanks for thanks for taking me for a ride in it. I'm excited for the future of EVs, and as I say, I don't see them as taking the place of you know exciting petrol cars. I see them as actually taking the the polluting load off just take can take can. <sighs> taking the polluting load off run-of-the-mill cars, you know, your two litre, three litre kind of just runabout cars that are actually destroying the environment and actually giving people um, the opportunity to use people gas guzzlers. It. People like it, mate. It gets good response. People right. enjoy this straight. car. They smile at it, they, they enjoy it. Mm. Now I'm gonna go right, Archie. I think there's some uh, there's some uh, LaFerraris down here. No, they've gone. They've, they were there, they've gone. Well, I'm gonna have a look. Okay. Have they gone? Yes. Ah, I see. Um, Battery friends. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm ha I am. Well, well, Spotters I'm, would have chased them down the I've road. Got a, I've got an electric car coming, which is pretty chaotic, to be honest. That is chaos. I'm very excited for it. And as I say, I don't see electric cars as a threat to. Uh, here we go. Let's wave at them. Yeah, they're enjoying it. Hello, hello. Just going for a spin. <laughs> carbon neutral over here. Nothing to see. Are we carbon neutral? I don't. I don't want to cause a scene. I don't know. At this point, I actually don't know what what we are. Does this have launch? I don't know. You would not want me to find it. No. 
Right, let's wrap things up. Oh, go on then. Uh, wrap it up, finish the video. Thank you very much for watching. I, I, Huge you're thank ending, you to ending the video. No, we, we're going. We're into the end spiel now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe. I, my subscriber count is actually appalling. It's uh, genuinely probably the worst out of any, most of the mainstream YouTubers. Uh, there's probably a very good reason for that. Um, but if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Of course, you can unsubscribe if you end up starting to hate what I do. So it's, you know, it's an easy opt out. I so wouldn't give I, it a go. I wouldn't encourage that. Why? Unsubscribing or subscribing? Well, you know, mate. There we go. People, people. Oh look, we've got some spotters up here. Chaos. Yes, they they want to know. They want to see. Are they enjoying it? It's the Honda E. Guess, guess. Are the car spotters going to snap the Honda E? They are. <laughs> Chaos! <laughs> Mate, it gets a lot of attention. <laughs> They're all snapping. I don't know if you can see out the back window. They all got their cameras going. Chaos! Let's go around again. No, um, around again. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Honda E. And at some point, I think I'm going to order a black one of these for my girlfriend. I genuinely really like this car and she's been in it and she absolutely loves it as well. I think it's not very really showy. It's quite a nice kind of cool car and I'm sure Chris would approve as well. I have a girlfriend is. now. Yeah. Oh, really? Are you yeah. doing that on camera? That's no, fine. Is that all right? You tell me, mate. It's your yeah. personal life. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Dropping bombs at the end of the video and that's why you've got to carry on listening because you never know what might come up.